Euro Banking Association has made a major move forward in the delivery of safer and smoother customer experiences across Europe with the publication of two key taxonomies. One is in the area of Know Your Customer KYC processes for banks and corporate customers and the second is aimed at better combating payment fraud. Well, to find out more about these taxonomies and why they're important, we're joined by Thomas Egner, Secretary General of the Euro Banking Association. Thomas, welcome to Cyros TV. I hope Thank you've you. had a fruitful week here in Amsterdam. Thank you. Um, at first, if I could ask you, the Euro Banking Association's recently delivered pan-European taxonomies in the area of KYC and fraud combating. Why does the payments industry need taxonomies, first and foremost? That's a very good question and it's a, a really fundamental question uh, because taxonomies are needed to bring different parties and entities onto one page. And this is ex ex extremely relevant and important uh, for an industry like ours, a networking industry. So we need to be assured that every party in this industry uses the same language, same definitions, same uh, vocabulary, else it would be very hard, if not impossible, to collaborate or to deliver um, operational excellence. Mm. And what are the concrete differences that your taxonomies are making? Pardon me? The, the, the concrete differences that your tax taxonomies are making. Okay. Can you take us through that? Okay. Yes. Let's start perhaps with the, with the first taxonomy, um, the taxonomy on KYC. And uh, here it's very clear that there's still uh, a very fragmented uh, level in, within Europe uh, which creates frustration. Frustration on the bank side, but also frustration um, on the customer side. And here's where our taxonomy on fraud, on, 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 on KYC, sorry, comes in. Um, it's, it's a combination and a collection of data points, common data points, which are necessary uh, to deliver uh, a KYC um, taxonomy, a KYC uh, data set, um, which covers for low risk um, KYC situations, of course, in the in the corporate to bank uh, sector, and this is very important because um, it promotes supports digitalization. We have uh, published that uh, uh, taxonomy on our webpage. It's available to the public. We are curious to see um, the industry testing uh, their internal data models against our taxonomy, and we're, of course, we are open to feedback, which is really necessary because we are really talking about a taxonomy. Mm. Let's draw our attention to your other taxonomy next. You were eager to talk about it to the, to the point of nearly mentioning it before, but it's the <laughs> EBA fraud taxonomy. Uh, how is this supposed to help banks with their fraud fighting efforts? Yes, the fraud taxonomy really comes up um, with, a, with a harmonized approach to fraud types mm. um, and helps thereby the industry to really look at the different um, ways uh, to help um, deliver common fraud descriptions. And by the way, uh, if we're talking about payment fraud, we understand this also as covering credit card frauds or card frauds in a, in a, in a larger sense. And as I just said, uh, it's so important that you share the same definitions, that you share the same understanding and the same vocabulary. So you're then afterwards able um, to look into the exchange of data, to look into exchange of uh, attack vectors, um, because else you would not be able to collaborate on this. And uh, fraud is really a topic of sharing. Mm. I mean, you mentioned the word feedback in a previous answer, and the experts in your working group are extremely impressed with the fraud taxonomy. Yes. And they've actually gone so far as to call it revolutionary. Indeed. It's one of those words which you don't bandy around lightly. So why <laughs> have they called it this? What is it that makes it revolutionary? Indeed, and that's, um, it, it, it was the design approach which uh, really was revolutionary because um, we looked really and separated, so to say, uh, the contact methods fraudsters apply from the tricks they apply. And this is uh, indeed very revolutionary, but, but because also of new. If you look at the other taxonomies, um, you see what is CEO fraud, what is phishing, what are the different other um, um, entities and, 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 and um, picturing of, 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 of phishing. We look at the why, how and what. So really trying to understand and separating the contact information from the, um, um, from the, from the tricks. And this has helped us um, to really, and the banks also, of course, um, to provide a very simple, straightforward uh, taxonomy on the one hand, but also on the other hand, 
to achieve an easy training for their customers and also for their staff. So that's the reason why we really call that revolutionary. Mm. You mentioned easy training. Does this mean fraud experts are going to have to get used to all new terminology being used? Good question. Good question. And it's really the beauty of our taxonomy that we try uh, to combine, so to say, the new world with the already existing um, um, definitions around fraud. So if, for example, there's internal requirement or an external requirement even uh, to bring in these old definitions, the taxonomy allows for this. So there's enough flexibility of the, of the uh, taxonomy to really marry the old and the new world. Okay, Thomas, sadly, time has gone against us, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Cybers TV. And, well, enjoy what is left of Cybos 2022. I will. Excellent. I will. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you much. Excellent. That was Thomas Egner, who is the Secretary General of the Euro Banking Association.